the collusion is right in front of our eyes. Yeah. Right, people, just because you hire a lawyer who hires a firm, who hires a former British spy to, to make contacts with Russians, yeah. that means that you were colluding yeah. with the Russians. At least starting to see this collapse in on them, even though the mainstream media is not covering this because they seem so focused on uh, drinking the Russian Kool-Aid uh, on terms of what's, you know, who's getting uh, indicted by the special counsel and instead focus on, look, was there any collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia, which the answer is no. Yes, that was in 2018. It was California Congressman Devin Nunes joining me on Sunday Morning Futures back in February and September of 2018, saying that the House would declassify documents related to the Trump-Russia collusion lie. This, as the 14th round of Twitter files have been revealed, and revealed how top Democrats tried to discredit the Nunes memo which uh, blew wide open the fact that the collusion story was a lie. They had this hashtag, release the memo, and they said it gained traction because of Russian bots. Uh, it resulted in national media denouncing Nunes, calling uh, him and his Nunes re report a joke. The Nunes memo was called a joke on NBC, on MSNBC, The Washington Post, The New York Times. Joining me right now is the CEO of Truth Social. He is former California Congressman Devin Nunes. Devin, thanks very much for joining us. And thank you for exposing the truth with me all those years back in 2017 and 2018. Are you feeling vindicated? <laughs> It's hard to believe. I was listening to that, and it seems like we've been talking about the same thing now for like, what is this now, year six? And yeah. Maria, you, you know, you've been on the, from the beginning, you've been on this. And look, this latest round is what we, we already knew, but it actually shows what Twitter knew, when they knew it, what they were talking about. And clearly, Adam Schiff, who we knew at the time, you know, always lied. But this is proof of that, that he knew there was nothing there. They knew it was, wasn't Russian bots. And then, you know, my, my, my senator, Feinstein, of all people, uh, who was also doing the same thing. And when Twitter came back and said, hey, there's nothing there, they doubled down and tried to, tried to get, you know, basically they tried to get Twitter to lie and make something up. Now, look, back in 17 and 18, I think that Twitter was probably reluctant to do that. But clearly by 19 and 20 and 21, they got the memo until Elon Musk bought them. And thankfully, they put this information out. So it gives a little bit of clarity and, and closure to a dark chapter in American history. It really is. And I want to get back to those two Democrats, these elected officials, Devin, because those Democrats who were involved was Adam Schiff, uh, Senator Dianne Feinstein. But at the time, Adam Schiff became the chairman of the Intel Committee. So they knew they had, you know, classified documents. They had skiff, the skiff documents that they would look at. They had uh, testimony. I mean, he had access to all of the information. So he had to know that what he was saying was not true, right? They said you distorted the classified information, that you, what you said was incorrect. Well, look, Maria, this is how this would go. Uh, and at the time, we actually had decent meetings with most of the, the tech, big tech companies. In particular, Twitter at the time, we knew this is back in 17 and 18. And Twitter would come in and tell us point blank, we don't have any evidence of the Russians doing anything. Now, when we progressed to actually show the corruption between the DOJ, the FBI, the Democratic Party, the fake news media, when we, when we went out to do that with the memo back in early 2018, that's when they conjured up this, oh, release the memo. Nobody in America possibly wants to see this memo released. We had all the crooks at the FBI, all the dirty cops that we'll probably get into here for, for in, in just a little bit, that were also clearly trying to stop that memo from coming out. In spite of all of that, Twitter still came in at the time and said, look, we don't have any any information here, any evidence that the Russians are behind the release the memo hashtag that was trending on social media at the time. So instead, what would happen is we'd get the ship would get the same briefings, Feinstein would get the same briefings. We now have evidence that they were getting the same briefings and the same information. And he would walk out of the skiff along with all the other Democrats. They'd hold press conference and they say, this is a Russian plot. And I would walk out there. And this is why I totally stopped talking completely 
to all the fake news freaks that are out there. I mean, they're still walking around the halls of the Capitol. They should be embarrassed. They should be ashamed. It's the same people that were there in 2017 and 2018. They're still there today. They don't apologize. I mean, they would look, they look like fools. They are fools. And, you know, hopefully, you know, maybe someday they'll just wake up and uh, be ashamed of themselves and, you know, I don't know, just get a new job or something. Well, they attacked me. They wrote stories. What happened to Maria Bartiromo? I mean, this is the New York Times <laughs> yeah. and the Washington Post. That's what they did. They still haven't admitted that all of that reporting was false. Uh, Devin, now we've got this situation with Joe Biden. Uh, Merrick Garland confirming a third batch of classified documents were found at Biden's Delaware home. And he's got the nerve yesterday to say, well, they were in my garage next to my Corvette and the garage is locked. I mean, this is just outrageous. I said earlier, this should be a Saturday Night Live skit. It, it really should be. I mean, I couldn't believe that. I was watching that live. I heard that thing about the Corvette. Look, I think it's starting to show that how kind of senile Biden is becoming. I mean, he's always made, said a lot of stupid things. But look, this is beyond the pale, you know, in the sense that if you just just suppose the difference between Trump, who never touched the documents, they went to Mar-a-Lago, you know, he was the president of the United States. Uh, they never could name what documents they were. And I think what you're starting to see is the corruption that we have at the archives. Clearly, somebody started putting pressure on the archives. The archives got nervous, knowing the Republicans were going to take control. They wanted to do it before the election. They had to know about this for a long time. And my guess is, you know, probably Obama, Bush. There's probably lots of evidence out there that all of these guys are taking out documents. The documents disappear. Clearly, there's some kind of problem. You'd think with the billions of dollars that we spend, the intelligence agencies would know where these documents are. But yeah. instead, what they did is they weaponized the Justice Department against President Trump because they don't want him to run again, and it blew up in their face. And now it's yeah. blowing up even higher. Like, I don't see how Joe Biden could possibly think that he's, or his team, because I'm not sure that he thinks, or his team thinks that he's going to run for president. Their whole yeah. plan at the DOJ, the corrupt Justice Department, the get Trump plan, along with all the never Trumpers that were out there, raid Mar-a-Lago, accuse him of crimes, appoint a special counsel. And if it wasn't for the hypocrisy, wasn't for the pressure Republicans, you know, being able to control the House of Representatives, there would not be a special counsel appointed for Joe Biden. And well, I will tell well, you well, also, and, yeah. and we'll get into this, I'm sure, later, but this special counsel that was appointed to look at Joe Biden is somebody we're very familiar with. He is a Russia hoaxer himself. And I think the Republicans better check in. He has a lot of explaining to do because he was involved in the letter that was from the FBI to the public that said that we were going to endanger national security if we released that, released the memo at the time. Wow. And, and real quick, Devin, because we're running out of time, but this is the same yeah. crop of people, right? Whether it's the Russia collusion lie, the cover-up of the Biden laptop, now the cover-up of the documents. You called it dirty cops. Yeah. Well, look, and dirty cops, and that's, and that's my point. This new Look, everybody's celebrating. Nobody should be celebrating any of this madness. There should have never been a special counsel for Trump. Obviously, what they're doing to Biden, they've now appointed somebody who has a lot of questions to answer. This special counsel, although he, they say he's a Republican, he should be questioned on his ties to the Russia hoax. All right, we will leave it there. Devin, thanks very much. Devin Nunes.